Hello, and welcome to another Sprue Camp tutorial brought to you by Tormach. In this tutorial video, I am going to show you how to tap. In programming this, I am going to be using the compression tapping head. The first step that you're going to want to do is select your machine. In this case, it's the Tormach 2012. Whatever machine you're using, most of this will apply. You're going to go up to New. Now you can either select New or hit the drop down arrow. It's going to be roughing, hole machining. Next, you need to tell it where that hole is going to be located. So you're going to want to hit job assignment. Come over here and hit the inside face of this hole. And then select center. You always want the green arrow pointing up. So essentially you want it facing the direction the spindle is coming from. If I turn on the machine here, I can give you a little bit of a feel for that. So you want the arrow pointing up towards the spindle. Next, you want to double click hole machining or highlight it and click parameters. And we need to make a tap. So you're going to want to hit the little drop down menu here and hit tap. This is going to be a quarter 20 tap that I'm going to use for this. So I'm just going to name it quarter 20. The diameter 0.2425. Excuse me. The minor diameter 0.24 one right around there uh, the angle I mean it depends on whatever angle your tool is you're gonna have to look at it look at the specs of it uh, for this demonstration I'm just gonna put it to zero and that's fine and the length I'm just gonna drop it down to two inches feeds and speeds the only thing you need to worry about is the RPM. Sprue Cam will automatically calculate the feed rate for you. The material that we're going to be machining this out of would be aluminum. So the spindle speed will go 1500. And then you can hit strategy where it says drilling type, tapping, NC code format. You want it to be longhand. Sprue cam and mock do not go hand in hand with the can cycles very well. Bottom dwell. Because you have to wait for the spindle to stop and then reverse, we have to put a dwell in there. So we're going to do seconds and 0.2 seconds. And now here's the main part that needs to be looked at, and that's where it says thread pitch. You would look at that and think, just put the pitch in there, and that's false. What it's actually looking for is threads per inch. So in this case, with a quarter 20, that 20 value is the threads per inch. So you hit 20, and hit OK. Hit Run. You'll see here, we have toolpath going in there. I'll go into simulation, show this, hit play. There it went down, it tapped that hole. And now if we go to post this, I'm going to grab Sprue Cam 9 post. Hit run. And you'll notice in here, automatically put the feed rate in. Uh, the feed rate is going to be the spindle speed divided by the threads per inch. So in this case, 1500 divided by 20 is 75. And you're always going to want to make sure that it's going in at the exact same feed rate that it is coming out. So you'll notice here there's no F value after this, so it's going to stay at 75 inches per minute, which is what you want. And this concludes another Sprue Cam tutorial brought to you by Tormach.